with skateboard videos being so advanced these days, newcomers to the sport don't really have a starting point. Transworld Skateboarding Magazine thought it would be a good idea to make a video for skateboarders who are just getting started. A how-to video showing some of the fundamentals of skateboarding. They called me up and asked me if I could help explain the basics of skateboarding and show you how they're done. I was glad to help out. The tricks covered in this video will give you a solid foundation from which you can build, branch off, and progress on your own. My name is Jeremy Ray. I've been skating for about 13 years and I've been pro for around 5 years. I'm here today to help you guys learn the basics of skateboarding and to give you a starting point. Before we get started, Transworld has asked me to talk to you about safety. To help you avoid injuries, there are pads available at your local skate shop. You can get a helmet, knee pads, and elbow pads. These might come in handy when you're learning. When you step on a board for the first time, you might notice that standing one way feels more comfortable than the other. There are two ways to stand. You are regular footed if you stand with your left foot forward. If you stand with your right foot forward like I do, then you are goofy footed. There is no right or wrong way to stand, and one stance is no better than the other. There have been great skateboarders from both stances. Once you've established which way you stand, it's time to learn how to push. Keep your front foot planted firmly on the board just behind the front chuck bolts. Keep all your weight centered over your front foot and try pushing with your back foot. It takes a little while to get used to the balance, but after some practice, it will feel more natural. Once you've got a little speed going, put your back foot on. If you've never stood up on a skateboard before, it can be scary at first, but after a while you get familiar with how it feels to roll. Just cruise around and get comfortable on your board. Try turning from side to side by leaning one way than the other. Get used to the balance of everything and watch out for rocks and cracks. At some point you'll need to stop and get off. The best way to stop your board is to center your weight over your front foot while you take your back foot off and drag it on the ground. Running this can be tricky at first, but just remember to keep your weight over your front foot and you'll do fine. If you've got all this down so far and you feel comfortable riding your skateboard, you're ready to take the next step. It's time to learn some tricks. You're going to want to find some nice smooth flat ground clear of traffic and pedestrians, so look around and see what you can find. Maybe a basketball court or a park or maybe even your own driveway. The first and most important trick to learn is the ollie, so we'll start with that. The ollie. The first step of the ollie is to get your feet into the right position. Put your front foot across the middle of your board. Put the ball of your back foot in the center of your tail. The next thing you want to do is bend your knees. The more you bend, the higher you can go. As you straighten your legs and start your jump, a few things must happen. Fully extend your back leg, pushing your tail to the ground. Roll your front foot until the side of your shoe is touching the grip tape. Lift your front leg up, dragging your shoe up the board toward the nose. Push your front foot forward and pull your back leg up toward your chest. Now that you've leveled out, let your legs straighten out a little bit as gravity brings you back down. When you feel your wheels hit the ground, let your knees bend again to soften the landing. This last step really comes in handy when you're landing off a big gap or a large set of stairs. Front side 180 ollie. Start by putting your feet into the ollie position. Bend your knees and turn your shoulders and arms opposite of the direction you want to go, sort of winding up. As you straighten your legs and start your jump, swing your arms and shoulders in the direction of your 180. Hit your tail on the ground just like an ollie, but when you drag your front foot up toward the nose, pull your front leg around in the direction of your 180. Then with your front foot, push out toward the nose and lift your back leg up to level out. At this point you should be 90 degrees, halfway around. To complete the 180, pull your front foot back guiding the nose the rest of the way around. Push your back foot forward to help the tail around. Make sure you rotate a full 180 so you can roll away backwards when you land. Backside 180 Ollie. Start by putting your feet into the Ollie position. Bend your knees and turn the top half of your body opposite of the direction you want to go, winding up again. As you straighten your legs and start your jump, swing your upper body in the direction of your 180. Try not to dip your head in or your board will end up behind you. Hit your tail just like an Ollie. Slide your front foot up toward the nose and push forward pointing the nose directly at 90 degrees. Lift your back leg up and level out. At this point you should be halfway around. 
To complete your 180, pull with your back foot using your toes to swing the tail the rest of the way around. Make sure you have turned a complete 180 or you won't be able to roll away. The pop shove it. For a pop shove it, put your front foot slightly angled near the middle of your board. Put your back foot on the tail with your toes on the corner. Bend your knees. Straighten your legs and start your jump. Hit your tail like you're going to ollie, but kick your foot back and use your toes to shove the tail around. Watch the board rotate underneath you and try to use your feet to catch the board in the air and stop it from over rotating. It takes a little practice to learn how much to kick your foot to make the board rotate the right amount, but just keep trying until you figure it out. Once you've got the board underneath you again, try to stay on and land. Keep your balance and roll away. Front side pop shove it. To do a front side pop shove it, put your front foot near the middle of your board with your toes hanging over the side. Put your back foot on the tail with the ball of your foot on the corner. Bend your knees, then start your jump. Hit your tail like you're going to ollie, but kick your back foot forward and use the ball of your foot to shove the tail around. Quickly lift your front foot straight up off the grip tape and get it out of the way. Watch your board rotate underneath you. Try to catch the board with your feet in the air to stop it from over rotating. Once you're over the board again, try to stay on and land. Keep your balance and roll away. The kickflip. To do a kickflip, put your feet into a position similar to the ollie. Put your back foot slightly closer to the corner of the tail and put your front foot slightly angled toward the nose. Bend your knees and start your jump. Smack the tail and drag your front foot up toward the nose just like an ollie. Kick your front foot forward off the side of the nose. As your foot leaves the grip tape, use your toe to flip the board. Lift your back foot up quickly to give the board room to flip. The tail of the board should be coming up toward your back foot. Catch the board with your back foot, grip tape side up, and stop the board from over flipping. Put your front foot back on the board. Stay centered and land. Keep your balance and roll away. The heel flip. To do a heel flip, put your front foot in the middle of your board with your toes hanging off the side. Put your back foot on the tail with the ball of your foot on the corner. Bend your knees and make sure you stay balanced over your heels. Don't dip your head in or your board will end up behind you. Start your jump. Smack your tail just like an ollie and drag your front foot up toward the nose. Kick your front foot forward and off the corner of the nose using your heel to flip the board. Lift your back foot up quickly to give the board room to flip. The tail should be coming up toward your back foot. Stop the board from over flipping by putting your back foot back on the grip tape. Put your front foot back on the board. Stay centered over the board and land. Keep your balance and roll away. The manual. To prepare for a manual, put your front foot just behind the front truck bolts and put your back foot just behind the back truck bolts. Shift your weight over your back foot and press down on the tail. As your front wheels lift up off the ground, center your weight over the back truck. Learn how to keep your balance. Keep practicing on flat ground and get comfortable with it. To complete the manual, just set your front wheels back down by leaning forward a little. The next step is to learn ollie manuals. Right up to a curb and ollie up. Center your weight over the back truck. When your back wheels land, try to hold your balance. It helps to use your arms. Manual until you come to the end. Land on all four wheels and roll away with your weight now centered over the middle of your board. The Nose Manual To 
do a nose manual, put your front foot on the nose and put your back foot over the back truck bolts. Shift your weight over your front foot and press down on the nose. When your back wheels lift up off the ground, center your weight over your front truck. Learn how to control your balance. Keep practicing until it feels comfortable. To complete your nose manual, just lean back a little and set your wheels back down. The next step is to learn all the nose manuals. Right up to a curb and ollie up. Shift your weight over the front truck. When you feel your front wheels land, try to hold your balance using your arms and leg muscles. Nose manual until you come to the end. Press down a bit on your nose to sort of nollie out so that your back wheels clear the curb as you come off. Land on all four wheels and roll away. By now you've really gotten to know your board and you're ready for more challenges. The next step for you is finding some obstacles to skate. This is not always easy because no one wants you skating on their property. But don't give up the search. Eventually you will find a good, hassle-free spot to learn some tricks. The board slide. Right up to the obstacle at a slight angle with your feet in ollie position. Bend your knees, then ollie toward the obstacle and get the middle of your board on the edge of the obstacle. As you start to slide, level out over the obstacle and center your weight. Slide to the end. To turn off, push down on the tail a little and push your front foot forward while rocking onto your heels to help turn the board. Keep guiding the board around with your front foot until the board is straight. Land and keep your weight centered over the board and roll away. Front side board slide. Ride up to the obstacle at a slight angle with your feet in ollie position. Bend your knees and ollie toward the obstacle, turning the board until the bottom is facing the obstacle. Push the middle of your board against the edge of the obstacle and start sliding. Level out over the obstacle and center your weight. Slide to the end. To turn off, push down on the tail a little bit and guide the nose around by using the toes of your front foot. Keep pulling the nose around until your board is straight. Land, keeping your weight centered and roll away. Front side 50-50. Ride up to the obstacle at a slight angle with your feet in ollie position and your knees bent. Ollie up and aim the trucks for the edge of the obstacle. Try to land mostly on top of the obstacle with the wheels locked up against the edge. Grind to the end or until you're ready to come off. Shift your weight over the back truck and push down on the tail lifting the front truck off the obstacle. Use your momentum to get the back truck off the obstacle. Land and roll away. Backside 50-50. Roll up to the obstacle at a slight angle with your feet in ollie position and your knees bent. Ollie up and aim the trucks for the edge of the obstacle. Try to land mostly on top of the obstacle with your weight centered over your heels and your wheels locked up against the edge. Grind to the end or until you're ready to come off. Shift your weight over the back truck and press down on the tail, lifting your front truck off the obstacle. Use the momentum to get your back truck off. Land and roll away. The nose slide. Ride up to the obstacle at a slight angle with your feet in ollie position and your knees bent. Ollie and turn the board and your body 90 degrees toward the obstacle. Aim the nose so that it lands on top of the obstacle with the base plate of the front truck locked up against the edge. Balance mostly over your front foot leaning back a little. Push your front foot forward at first to get the slide started. Slide to the end or until you're ready to come off. To straighten your board back out, push your front foot forward hard and pull back a little with your back foot. Land straight and roll away.
If obstacles are hard to find in your area, and there isn't even good smooth ground, you might want to consider ramp skating. Ask around to see if anybody has a ramp nearby, or maybe there is a skate park close to your house. If not, maybe you can beg your parents for a ramp, or pitch in with your friends and build it yourselves like my friends and I did. When you get on a ramp, the first thing you find out is that you have to use your legs to pump to keep up any speed. The better you are at pumping, the faster and higher you can go. Pumping on a ramp To prepare for pumping on a ramp, put your front foot over the front truck bolts and put your back foot on the tail just behind the back truck bolts. Ride up the transition with your knees slightly bent. Straighten your legs as you go up the ramp. As gravity pulls you back down, bend your knees and work with it. Do the same thing going fakie on the other side. As you do this back to back, you will begin to not only keep up your speed, but start going faster and higher. The kick turn. To do a kick turn, position your feet the same as you did for pumping. Right up the transition with your knees slightly bent. Right before you reach your peak height, press down on the tail a little, just enough to lift the front wheels off the ramp. Turn while keeping your weight centered over the back truck. Let your front foot guide the nose around while the toe of your back foot helps pivot the tail around. When you are all the way around, set your front wheels back down on the ramp by shifting your weight more towards your front foot and pushing down a little. Keep your balance and roll in. Frontside kick turn. For a frontside kick turn, put your feet in the same place you did for pumping. Ride up the transition with your knees slightly bent. Right before you reach your peak height, press down on the tail just enough to lift your front wheels off the ramp. Turn while keeping your weight centered over the back truck. Let your front foot guide the nose around while using the heel of your back foot to pivot the tail around. When you're all the way around, put your front wheels back on the ramp by shifting your weight more towards your front foot and pushing down a little. Keep your balance and roll in. Dropping in. Plant your back foot firmly on the tail and have the back wheels locked up against the coping. When you're ready, with one continuous motion, step your front foot into position, right behind the front truck bolts, and shift your weight from your back leg to your front leg. Keep your knees bent and commit to leaning in. When the front wheels come in contact with the ramp, keep your weight centered over the middle of your board and try to stay on. You'll reach the flat bottom sooner than you think, and hopefully you're still standing up. If not, jump right back up there and try it again. Remember, it's only scary the first time. The axle stall. To do the axle stall, put your feet in the same position as you did for the kick turn. Ride up the transition with your knees slightly bent. As you near the top, lift your front wheels off the ramp so that they clear the coping. Start turning and you will feel your back truck come in contact with the coping. Stay centered over the back truck and continue to pivot while rocking your weight back onto your heel. Set the front truck down on the coping by shifting your weight over the center of your board. You should be balanced over your heels and standing completely up over the deck of the ramp. To go back in, shift your weight back over the back truck and press down on the tail, lifting the front truck off the coping. Pivot on your back truck, leaning in, using your toes, and turning the board back into the ramp. When the board is straight, set the front wheels back onto the ramp by pushing down with your front foot and centering your weight more over the front truck. Keep your balance and roll in. The Fakie Rock To do a fakie rock, put your feet into the same position you did for pumping. Ride up the transition with your knees slightly bent. 
as he near the coping, press down on the tail and lift the front wheels off the ramp. When the front wheels clear the coping, shift your weight forward a little, pushing down on your front foot until the back wheels come off the surface of the ramp and your weight is centered over the board on the coping. Now, to come back in, shift your weight back to your back foot and press down on the tail, lifting the front wheels over the coping. Make sure that the front wheels clear the coping on the way in. When the front wheels are below the coping, press down on your front foot and set the front wheels back down on the ramp. Keep your balance and roll in fakie. I, just like every other pro out there today, had to learn on my own exactly what you're learning in this video, the basics. Through years of practice, persistence, and determination, we all got to where we are today. You guys are the future of skateboarding and the pros of tomorrow, so do your homework and learn this stuff. I hope this video has given you the starting point you needed in today's advanced world of skateboarding. So good luck, have fun, and remember, only through challenging yourself will you find out what you're capable of. Thank you.